um, today we're revisiting that ax that I said that I was gonna be finished with and just toss in the back of my truck. Well, I threw the video up on, uh, on Reddit and asked everybody what I should do on there and uh, one of the users, uh, best comment I've had in a while, uh, Baby Yoda Best said, uh, you know, in that Mortal Kombat voice, finish her or him, or, right? So that's what you gotta do. Who can resist that voice? So here I am, right? The, the first thing that I need to do is I need to get rid of all of this varnish that's on this handle. So I'm gonna redo that, or uh, remove that. And then I think I'm gonna do a burned in um, grain and uh, oil finish on it. And then on these phantom bevels here, uh, kind of iconic on, on these Collins axes uh, from the 60s and 70s, is they would, you know, this they had that blue paint. So I'm gonna refinish that, put the blue paint back on there, put a nice uh, polished edge on here, and then I should be finished. You can see that now. It's really pretty green. For the most part, it's straight. I think it'll do well. So for this next part, I'm gonna do a, uh, just a burning technique. It's, uh, I think the Japanese did it back in the 17, 1800s. Uh, they would, uh, you know, char the wood, seal it with some oil, and it was a really good way of preserving wood, especially in wet conditions. Um, I just want to try it. I usually do boiled linseed oil on all of my axe handles. I've got one other one that I did a wood burn on it. I don't really like how it turned out. So I want to give it uh, maybe just a little bit uh, of a different try. So I'm going to do that. And then I think I'm going to use a, uh, that wax that I mixed up. I'm going to go ahead and just wax on over it so let's check this out let's see how this works and let's see how uh let's see how it turns out
this. You can really go as dark as you want in something like this. I'm just doing it until I get that grain popping out like I want. Um, but you can, you can take this completely black if you wanted to. So for me, that perfect spot is just right at the tip of that blue flame. If you get a little too dark in some areas, like I just got a little dark right there talking to you, um, it's all right. You can always, you know, it just adds character, right? And at the end of the day, it's an axe handle. All right, just quick going over now. One more time, just even everything out with the 320. You could leave it, it's just sometimes it, it raises uh, like little little bits of the wood curl up, little splinters and things like that, so I'm just knocking those back down. All right, so now, let's go ahead and let's get started on this blade. Gotta strip this down. And the way that I'm gonna do this is I, I'm, I'm gonna just I want the patina and things still on it. I don't want it a nice, bright, shiny ax. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit it and remove all the surface rust. And then um, just kind of brighten up these darker spots. And I'm gonna do that with some 320 on a palm sander. So obviously if I knew I was gonna do this before I put my handle back on, I would have cleaned all this up. Makes it a whole lot easier. From the old markings that I can see, it looks like this was, um, looks like it was blue right in here, okay? It faded in, and then the top and bottom was also blue. So, I'm gonna work my tape magic, I'm gonna do that. It also looks, from what I can find on the internet, that this wasn't a solid line, this was a faded line. So, let's see how well I can do it.
I've done is I've just taped this off and I'm just gonna cut out the outline that I want. Right. Make sure you're good around all your edges. All those little wrinkles that like to happen. All right, and then you just come in here like that, see that? Always keep your blade slicing. All right, and then it won't pull your tape back off. So, got around all the edges. Now I'm just gonna fall this, this bevel here with the shadows. feathered you know what I mean so I don't want it to be like a, a solid line so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull this back like that and leave the tape there but then that that'll give it that you know feathered look and then I can always hit it with some really light sandpaper And if you're ever doing this and you're, you're just nervous about your ability to cut that, it's just tape, right? You can always redo it. All right, <coughs> and then also, this is gonna be higher than the rest, so I can always hit that with some sandpaper and it'll leave that all filled in blue right there. All right, so I'm gonna flip this over. Let's do the other the side. Same place that I ran them down on the other side. All right, and don't forget to tape off your handle. See what I have here. Okay. So I've got that there. All the way around where I'm gonna paint it blue. Okay, on both sides. So everything matches up on both sides. And it's basically going to be opposite of the blue that you see here. All right, and all this is, this is just some blue engine enamel. I believe it's a uh, Ford blue. I'm going to use it on some valve covers from an old uh, Rancho or something that I did. So. Remember, 
It's an ax. It's gonna get used. This isn't gonna last forever. I believe the original stuff was probably some like hardened enamel. Oops, you can see right here, I'm gonna have to, missed a spot on my handle when I was taping it off. All right, so got that on there covered pretty well. Nice thick coats, so it'll chip off in really big chunks, but right, that's what it's for. It's gonna look pretty for a little while. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry, and then we'll come in and I'll untape it, and uh, we'll finish out this handle. All right, guys, uh, just checking this thing out. It is time for the big reveal. So let's go ahead and take a look. start by basically going in the opposite order of what which I started Right there, you can see where that's on there. The easiest way is to just to scrape it. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take some of this wax, wax this handle up. All right, so there it is. Okay, in all of its in all of its glory, I think it came out magnificent. Right? I hope you think the same. If not, well, it's my axe, not yours. So, right there it is. I like it. I think the burnt came out really nice. I think the wax really lets it pop. Uh, the blue inlays and everything came out really nice. Still got a lot of that patina on there, but it's nice and bright. All right. So, if you enjoyed the video, if you thought it was good, uh, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't done so yet, or you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys. Again, thanks for tuning in. Uh, thanks for the input on uh, going through and finishing this axe. I'm glad I did. So until next time, stay tuned, and thanks for watching.